I don't make pieces like this. So I don't know how long this will be. For all I know, I could get this thought off in two minutes, or it could take 20. So I guess you're going to find out at the video length. Look, I want to respond to iDubs. And I want to respond to him. Look, just even saying a response to iDubs' video, which will probably be the title of this, already attracts a bunch of people who'd be like, you, you're doing it for Cloud. You're doing it for this. Just, I need everybody to shut their brains off for, for however long this video is. Just, just t turn that shit off. Just turn that shit off and just listen to me. Because you don't know who I am, probably. And nor should you have to care. We are all just individuals on the internet trying to do weird shit. So I watched iDubbbz's latest video about the old content that he made and how he feels about life now and effectively his impact and his understanding and self-awareness of what the internet can do to you. And it made me think about the kind of conversations I've had with people I consider close to me and how sometimes they'll let these little things come out of their mouth. Like they might mention, you know, a trans issue here or there. Did you see this on Facebook, this, da, da, the other? Or, you know, they'll say, you know, black people really need to get it together. Not like, obviously we're both black, but you know, we'll say, damn, that's some crazy shit. Why are they doing that? Blah, blah, blah. We won't talk about systemic issues, very surface level stuff. That's the kind of way I like it with some of my friends. You know, some, I have friends that go deeper, friends that don't. But that hesitancy to address it in the conversation because I know that they are not like hateful people. That hesitancy to ask, why did you say that? The uncomfortability of starting that conversation. That is, is I think at the core of, of what Ian is trying to say. And I don't think that I don't think that the creator space right now fits that mold of acceptance from past mistakes. Like we always say it was a different time, but there were people in that different time that also didn't like that it was happening. I think that it, it, it pains me to know that like, that conversation has to be had on his YouTube channel in an edited video explaining it when for those 17 minutes, it's really him just saying, I grew up. I grew up. I realized I was, I was getting popular off that. I wanted to keep doing it. I thought I was making a point, but looking back on it, I probably could have done that whole thing differently and still gotten the point across. That's what we do now. And it pains me to think that, like, that is not the general maximum feeling across a creator space. That you can, like, you got to really have that audience. You know, I think Philly D has made this point before, but, like, never really addressed it because it's, it's a new show. You know, it's no point to really address it. Sometimes you just, you just talk like a dickhead. You know, that happens. <laughs> but... The way Ian went about this video, the way I dubs it, I, I say Ian because I feel like even that is what he's trying to distance himself from. And that might be an overreach. I mean, I watched the video, so I, I hope I understood it, but that might be an overreach. Still, I think that that type of conversation should be had across the board with creators that are large. Because a lot of us forget that when you put these people in spaces together, there's no internet distance. There's no I shut it off and don't have to worry about it. 
As long as that check, no, you got to face that. And the type of personalities that mix, it immediately makes me feel like what I'm going to hear next is that Idubs thinks he's holier than thou. That he can just walk, even though he literally said in the video that it would be completely unfair in this situation to just walk away from this and say, oh, it's not me anymore. That type of introspect should be default. And I don't see that thread existing among top creators right now. So when he tries to do creator clash, the baggage gets carried because those people want the baggage to be carried. And I wish there were more people around him that also had this conversation. Because to address it to your audience is one thing. I can definitely tell like it forms a, a void of isolation that you can only depend on your wife and like three other people. The creator space should just ha like that's where we should be at because we're entering the new era of content creation where IP original IP events are the mainstay. Things happen, fallout occurs. That's just where we're at. We're not at the point of like everybody's producing a short film. Shout out King Vader. Shout out um, RDC World. <coughs> we're 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 in the we're in the immediate gratification. No build up. No promo. No. It's just that's what happened today. Now watch somebody react to that, and that's what happened that day. Case in point. I'm proud to know that that honesty exists in someone so far detached from someone like me. Now, starting out that way, sure, whatever. Ending up here to a point where you can look back and say, yeah, I can ride into the sunset now. I can put this down. It's been a great 20 years. See y'all later. Here's the next up. Here's the next comers. I put them over. It's Gucci. To see that be an evolution of thought right now means that there just might be hope in wading through these waters and having people understand this never really was about politics. It's never really. It's about how you treat people. It's how you treat people. And it feels nice to know that someone like him could take the time and say, I know how to put this in the right words, in the right form. Because people call me the man with the words. You need me to say something, I'm the one who puts it in the most beautiful thing you ever heard. But it was succinct. It covered all the bases. It made sense. I didn't feel like I was watching a video somebody had made to make a point. Like, it wasn't him declaring all his old content dead. That's never going to be me. Look at this bad thing I did. Look at this bad thing I did. Look at this bad thing I did. It was, yo, no character here. No filter. I'm really rapping to you right now. And a lot of people on the internet don't rap to you. So good on you. <laughs>